Hey guys, um, I'm not for sure what Vlogmas Day it is, but I just got back from Dollar Tree and I started to edit this DIY and realized I never made like a um, introduction. So, well, welcome to my channel. I'm Rachel. Subscribe if you want to be a part of the family. And if you would like to see how I made this, then just keep watching. Thanks so much. Love you. All right, the next little project, you're gonna need some type of wooden block. I just had an old, I think it's a two by four, and we cut little pieces out. I made ones that were bigger and longer like that, but this one I wanted to spell out in different sections, Noel. So you're gonna take your block, and I chose this Waverly chalk paint in cashew and you're going to need a old foam brush. I'm just going to dump some out. I messed up on this one and then I decided to film this video. So I'm just going to show you how to do one and then you pretty much make all the other ones the same. So I should have got a, a foam brush that wasn't broke, you know. Depending on your board, you might need a lot more chalk paint. I bought a bunch of these little samples just so I could test out like what colors that I liked. And it's very thick. Real thick. I don't know if it's going to come out that well. But I have this real rough part. Normally I wouldn't care. But this is my last chance to get it right because I'm not cutting another piece of board. I'm not very good with um, wood tools of any sort. And I also want to paint this part. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm also going to use my wood stain. I'll show you guys that in the next step. You guys, look at the bag of brushes I got from Dollar Tree. Like, they're all messed up. Every single one of them. And I can't even push it down in. That's never happened to me before. All right, you're going to let that dry. And you will also need whatever kind of Mod Podge you want to use. Or you can use um, White Elmer's glue. Half glue, half water ratio. I couldn't find any like, what are they called? Like the cute little studs. So I found these black balled um, thumbtacks. I'm just gonna be using those. You'll need some type of ribbon or burlap. I have a bunch of this left over from a wreath that I made. You'll also need some type of stencils. I copped out and did it the easy way and I just have it's glittery, but you guys can't really tell on camera, but I just copped out for letters, like sticker letters, and that's what I'm going to do. It'll kind of be something like this. You guys, this is not my favorite DIY. I'll insert some pictures of the, like, the wood plaques that I made. I made them a little bit different than this. It's just one wood plaque, but oh, I'll show you guys a picture of those. Alright, so next you will want to take your burlap or your ribbon or whatever you want to Mod Podge down as like a backing. You'll go ahead and want to cut that to the size that you want. Mine's a little lopsided, but it's alright. So then you're going to want to get your Mod Podge and you, oh wow, that's, that was hard to get off. There we go. Um, they have different things. I just, I have a big thing of satin, so that's what I'm going to use. Going to want to take your foam brush. I use a lot. I'm not real for sure. Um, I don't use Mod Podge a lot. I use a lot more on the top than on what I do right here. And I just go ahead and smear it on every inch of it. It dries clear, so it doesn't matter if you get it where you're not supposed to. So you're going to want to do, a, I'm telling you, that sponge brush. You want to do that, and then you're going to try and lay this down directly where you want it. I'm going to pull that. This is not the best burlap that I've used. It just, it's so stringy 
once that's down like this is really where I come in with a lot of Mod Podge and I try and poke down the sides because if not um, they turn hard as a rock and they really hurt if you like jab it jab your finger into it or anything like it seriously hurts so I really try and pack down those and then you'll just want to make sure you get the edges really good and then you just go through like I said I really coat this on because I need it to hold the burlap down because if not it hardens so bad it hurts if it jabs your fingers but you'll just go through and Mod Podge it all down and then I'll be back with the next step. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and get my sticker since I just did the Mod Podge there. You want it to be even with that one. Since it's already got the Mod Podge down, I'm going to go ahead. The stickers are kind of hard to get to stay down. And then you'll just want to take your Mod Podge and go right back over that. Make sure you get your edges really good. If not, they will pop back up. This one actually stuck down way better than all the other ones. And now I'm just going to go back through and try and push those edges down because I'm telling you they hurt so bad. And you guys, there's that. You're just going to let that dry. And then once that it, once this is dry, then we can go in with the next two steps. And then you guys, you'll be done. This will take a little while to dry, but that is what it looks like so far. This will dry clear. Sometimes you'll get like some build up white bubbles, but if you let it sit long enough, it does dry clear. Do you guys see what I mean by like that burlap? Like, oh, can you see? Those hurt so bad. They are so hard. So you, like if you're using burlap, maybe use like a burlap wire ribbon and it won't pop out like that. Because I'm telling you, they hurt. Alright, so our Mod Podge is almost dry. Do you see what I mean? Like it'll look white for almost 24 hours. But this is dry enough. It will dry clear after 24 hours. Um, but this, the rest of it is dry enough. So our next step is to get stain. I like this. I call it Jaco Bean. Um, Jacob Bean. Jake. I call it Jaco Bean. Jacko Bean. Whatever. But this is almost empty. Um, this is my favorite wood stain. But I'm going to use this and an old washcloth. And I'm just going to dip this down in there. I'm going to try and not get it all over myself. I'm going to start on the sides. And I'm just lightly going to wipe it just anywhere I want. Oh, it's not getting in there. Whoa, that's a lot. Oh, well. If you get too much, guess what? It wipes right off. I want to get this really good. I'm going to put some there. And those pieces, I'm telling you, they're hard as a rock. I'm just going to kind of stamp it on those. And you do want to wipe it off. The part that got Mod Podge on the front, you'll have to um, really work it in there. I'm going to go ahead and distress the bottom with it. I think I'm going to really rough mine up. I might even need to sand some of that Mod Podge off of there because that's not really sticking. But sorry, my arm's in the way. But if that happens, you can get one of these from Dollar Tree. It's a sanding block. Oh, wow. If I can get it out of there. And I just want to see. I've never used it before. Mm. Yeah, I think that worked. Oh, yeah. Need sanded a little bit more. 
but once that is done, once you have the desired um, amount of stain, I'm going to go in later and really rough mine up. But then you just want to go in and have your four push pins. I'm just doing one in every corner, but you could do it all the way around if you wanted. And I'm um, literally just going to poke them in. And if you have a hard time getting it in, you can, oops, let me put the lid on this so I don't spill it. You can use a hammer and lightly. Sorry for all the hammering noise, but it had to be done. Lightly hammer it in. Let me show you with one more. Most of the time you can just push them right in. See that one I was able to push right in. Oh, and a little tip I wanted to give you guys. I just happened to have this bag that the um, foam brushes came in, but you can take a Ziploc bag and put your individual brushes in there and like accordion fold it to where they're not touching each other. And I just put a zip tie or a twist tie around the top of it. And this will keep these like soggy and usable for one week of me doing DIYs. I just thought that was a nice little tip. Sometimes you, I just throw them in like a grocery bag and make sure it's twisted up really good. But this is an excellent way to store these for like a week's worth of DIYs. All right, so there's my finished project. I, sorry if the camera's shaking, I'm holding it. I didn't know if I wanted to put the same little black pins on all four corners of those. I kind of like them without. Or I thought about maybe lining all the way around the block with it. You guys, let me know what you think. But like I said, this is not my favorite turnout right now. The E's still not done drying from the Mod Podge. But I like I will insert pictures from my other ones that I made that I really liked. But yes, you guys, that's everything for this little DIY. I hope you enjoyed doing it with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.